I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin Kadoha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You got to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy Shalom DC, we are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started at 1 West, 125th Street, Hall, New York, under Commanding General Yahana, man. We come out here across the country, and wherever our people are to teach, that we are the real Jews according to the Bible, man. Those imposters that are in the, in the land of Israel right now are not the real Jews, man. They own everything, but they are not the real Jews. You know what, black man? We are supposed to own the Diamond District. We're supposed to run Hollywood. We're supposed to have all the money and the wealth. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? They took our identity according to this Bible. And that's why it's so foolish of us to say this Bible is not our book. It's so foolish of us to say that this book has enslaved us. Guess what? Christianity has enslaved us. Right. Islam has enslaved That's us. Right. Rastafarianism, Jehovah Witness, drugs, the white man's philosophy has enslaved us. Right. Understand that, man. This Bible is the answer to free us. We've never been told that in these churches, that this Bible is black history. This Bible is the real black history, man. That stuff that they teach us in that in those schools is whitewashed lies, man. It's whitewashed lies, man. They don't tell us the truth in their schools, you know why? Because America does not benefit from blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans knowing the truth. Guess what, if we knew with the truth, if we knew the truth, we would do what the Bible says. You know why? Because it pertains to us. The Bible is our book, it's our history, man. And it's the only thing to free us, man. To free us from the captivity that we in, man. To free us from the hell that we live in, man. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are living in hell in America, man. Just because some of us have money, and some of us have record deals, and some of us are in politics, the majority of our people live in hell, man. And guess what? We should see by now, America is showing us it doesn't matter what, how much money you have, it doesn't matter how much you, you uh, try to emasculate yourself and abide by America's rules. Guess what? America is telling you that you are still, in their eyes, a nigga, man. Can we tell? The Dallas police officer killed a beautiful black woman in her home. I know you heard about the story. The, the, I'm going to say the sister's name, man. We can't forget the, the slain of our people. You know why? Because America never forgets the crimes against their people. Guess what? That beautiful sister, uh, that smart sister, Tatiana Jefferson in Dallas, Texas, was murdered in cold blood in her own home by a devil. You know why? Because America is showing us, it doesn't matter if you're a man or woman, you know what I'm saying, if you're light skin or dark skin, if you're smart, if you're dumb, if you're rich, if you're poor, if you're Christian or Muslim, America is showing us that they have no love for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. That's you know right. why? Because we are the Lord's children, man. That's right. That's sister Tatiana Jefferson. She wasn't a sister that was on the strip club. She wasn't stripping. She wasn't living foul. Guess what? She was, going, she was in med school. She was taking care of her family. She was doing everything right according to American standards. And guess what? Uh, right, not that that matters, but guess what? Right, for everybody that's, that says you have to comply with the cops, what do we say now to uh, Tatiana Jefferson? What should we have told her? Comply? And both them gene, man. What should we have said then? Comply? Guess what? America has betrayed 
that Tatiana Jefferson. America betrayed both them John. You know why? Because they believe that if they assimilate into American culture, into American philosophy, they believe becoming a Christian would save their lives. And guess what? America showed them otherwise. America showed them that they have no love for our people, man. Give me Ezekiel 35 and 5. Y'all should know, we should know this precept by now. We bring it out all the time, man. America has nothing but hate for the Lord's people, man. These people will never love us, man. This society will never love blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know why? Because if, as long as we're on the bottom, they're uh, allowed to thrive. As soon as we are up, uh, underneath the boot of our oppressors, we are going to rule, man. That's the way it works. There's no such thing as equality, man. There's somebody that's ruling, and then there's somebody that's being ruled. And guess what? The white man understands that. That's why we have to be oppressed. That's why we are oppressed the way we are, man. Because they understand that. We don't understand that because of Christianity has destroyed our entire concept of justice, man. America has hate for the Lord's people, man. It's in the Bible. Tell them where you at. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a, per a perpetual hatred. The Bible says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, man. What does the word perpetual mean? Continuous. Because America has had a perpetual hatred for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because America has had perpetual hatred for the Lord's children, these people on this side right here, keep reading, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Guess what? That white cop in Dallas shed the blood of an innocent, beautiful, smart black woman, man. Another cop in Dallas did the same thing to both of John, man. And guess what? I've been reading comments on the, on the internet. People want to say, Texas is bad. You know, this, this is our problem. This is what Christian Church does. They make us fight the logic of what we see. They, may, they make us fight reality. You know what? Because we want to still love this right here. Guess what? It's not just Texas that hates blacks. It's not just Florida that hates blacks. It's not just the South that hates blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Guess what? America's, American culture is to hate blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Understand that, man. Every president, every single president hates blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Get, get, and Obama is not an exception, too. Uh-oh, about to offend somebody with that one. Obama fell right in line with his predecessors, man. More, more of our Hispanic brothers were locked up in those detention centers when Obama was in office, man. Obama did nothing for the Lord's children. Obama did nothing for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know why? Because Obama believes in the philosophy of America, and that's to hate the Lord's children. Read it again from the top. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword. By force of the sword, man. They shed our blood by the force of the sword. We are getting gunned down. Gunned down, man, in our own homes. Like before, we could, we could, the Christians will always argue, a brother get killed by the police, well, he should have complied. He should have did what they said. You know what I'm saying? A sister get up, Sandra Bland was killed. Well, they said, well, she had an attitude. You know what I'm saying? She should have been more polite. Whenever we kill, they find an excuse to justify it. How can you justify the killing of two innocent people in their homes? How can you justify that? And guess what? Don't be surprised, black people, if they flip the script and they try to justify them killing that beautiful sister in her home. They already saying, well, she had a gun in her hand when she was in the window. Guess what? It's Texas. They believe in guns in Texas. They love their guns in the Second Amendment in Texas. But when a black person has a, has a, has a weapon, when a black person tries to be American, it's not allowed. Guess what? America is telling us that we should stop trying to be American and start being what the Bible says for us to be, man. And that's the Lord's children, man. That's the nation of Israel. We can't try to be American and do what they do, man. America hates us, man. The Bible says it, man. Keep reading. In the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. In the time that our iniquity had an end, man. We are killed for no reason. We are killed for no reason. It's not even arguable anymore. If you can't see it by now, you don't want to see it. And you hate the Lord's people, man. Shame be unto you for saying that they deserve to die, man. Shame be unto you that say they should have complied. Those, those, that brother and that sister were doing everything right according to American standards, and they suffered the same fate that so many of our people suffer, man. Death. Death by the hands of some devil murderer, man. American culture is to be a murderer. 
American culture is to be a rapist and a child molester and a liar and a disgusting deviant, man. Let's stop being American black man, Hispanic man, Native American Indian man. Let's let America do what they do and let's do what the Bible tells us to do. Let them follow their constitution. It doesn't matter if you're a college graduate or a felon. If you're black or Hispanic, guess what? You are a nigga in America's eyes and you will suffer the same fate if you don't come back to our culture, man. We gotta come back to our culture. Don't, don't believe the hype. The Bible is not real. The Bible is very real, you know how you know? The Bible prophesied us being here in America, being in captivity, being in this oppression before we were even here, man. The Bible prophesied the transatlantic slave trade, man. Yet here we are, running from the Bible, learning from people that are lying to us in these churches, in the mosque, in the, in the, uh, the kingdom halls. All religion is false. All religion is American, man. America hates our people, man. They hate our beautiful black sisters, man. They hate our strong brothers, man. That's why they flooded the communities, our communities, with drugs. And turned back around and said, it's a war on drugs. Because America hates our people so much, they are willing to go at whatever means it is to destroy us, man. And we are so silly that we actually believe that they care about us. We actually believe that we stand a chance trying to do what they do, man. Let's turn, let's turn our back on America like America has done to us. Right. And let's face the truth that this book is what we need to, work, to survive, man. We gotta wake up and realize this Bible is what we need to survive. To not be victims, to not be another, another statistic to police brutality and violence, man. Read it again from the top. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the, sword, by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. Man, listen, America has a perpetual hatred for you, man. Don't, we walk around here and we like to party and kick it and we think everything is good. We don't understand, they, they are hunting us, man. There is traps laid out for black men and black women, man. That's why it's Planned Parenthoods in our neighborhoods. That's why the drugs were put in our neighborhoods. That's why the Christian churches are on every corner in our neighborhoods. That's why every brother that gets locked up is Muslim. You know why? Because all of that is the same means to an end. It's all to destroy us, man. It's all part of their hatred. Give me Proverbs 29 and two. We gotta turn our back on this wicked kingdom. America is a wicked nation. America is a hypocritical nation, man. Filled with hypocrites. You know why? Because America says this is the land of the free and home of the brave, man. This is a land of cowards, man. The people that run this place are cowards, and they are liars, and they are disgusting, man. And we can only see what's going on behind closed doors in Congress, you'd be surprised. They make black men seem like we are all type of, of thugs and criminals. These white people in Congress getting high off the best cocaine, off the best medicinal, with the best prostitution they can find, you know why? Because they are wicked and they are hypocrites. They, t they look at us and say, you gotta, you gotta be a law-abiding citizen. Well, guess what? America was established by them violating the laws of their, of their native country. America was established by treason. If you wanna be technical, you know how you know? The white man fled Britain and went against uh, King George, man. According to that, that's treason. But when we want to say we don't want to follow America's holidays and we don't want to be American and we look that like we're traitors. No, what we're doing is doing what you guys did, man. We're trying to establish our own interests, man. We're looking out for our own interests. Just like you did when you fled and, independent and uh, got independence from Britain, man. We're doing the same thing. We want independence from you, Mr. White Man, because you are not fit to rule over us. The white man rules over us. Our oppressor rules over us and we are in mourning, man. The Bible says it. Tell him where you at. The book of Proverbs chapter 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. The Bible says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Let me ask you something, black man. Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man. Do we, are we rejoicing right now? Even though we know how to party, look, that's who we are. We are a lively, vibrant people. Even though we know how to make the best of anything, are we really rejoicing here in America, man? Are we rejoicing in this hell? No, man, you know how you know? Because we gotta get high just to survive, man. We gotta sell drugs just to make it, man. Our women think they have to kill their own babies in abortion clinics just to make it, man. You know what I'm saying? We kill each other to think we have to survive like that, man. We are in hell. You know what I'm saying? We're not rejoicing in America. That's what we're doing in America. Keep reading. 
time. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. But when the wicked beareth rule, when the wicked are in charge, the people what? Mourn. Mourn, man. Yes, sir. Tatiana Jefferson's family is what? Mourn. They mourn, man. They mourn. You know why? Because in America, we are ruled by a wicked people, man. Yes, sir. We are ruled by a people that know anything about justice, integrity, honor, humanity, compassion. Everything that they love to say they stand for, they don't stand for, man. Yes, That's, it sounds good on paper. Everybody over, overseas, they hear America and it sounds so beautiful and it sounds so good and then they get over here and they're like, damn, y'all treating these people bad. Yeah. And guess what? Eventually, the American state of mind takes over and it's, it, it's, nobody cares. Yes, sir. The only time our problems become, to, to, the only time our problems are brought up is once every four years, man. That's around election season. Yes, you ever notice that? Yes, sir. Black people suffer and we get killed by the police. For three years straight, nobody speaks on it. Exactly. Here come election season. Yes, sir. All the devils want to come out and now it's the issue. Now we got, we got to talk about black on black crime. We got to talk about police brutality. Well, we was, the ISUBK was talking about it the three years you weren't. Exactly. The ISUBK was been talking about it since 1969, man. Yes, you know why? Because we give a damn about our people, man. We love our people because we follow the Bible. Yes, and the Bible tells us to love each other. You know why? Because the America doesn't love us, man. Exactly. Everybody has to say Christ came to save everybody. That's a lie, man. Christ came to save his people. Exactly. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And furthermore, what people on the face of the earth need saving? What people in America are shooting each other in the ghettos? White people love to bring up, well, what about black on black crime? You're right. Why is that? Exactly. Why is that, Mr. White Man? Why do we kill each other, huh? Why do we get high? Yes, sir. Why do our women go to the, the Planned Parenthoods, huh? Why do we forgive y'all when, when you murder us? In, in, in cold blood in our own homes. Why do we do that, man? Because we are destroyed by you, man. Read the scripture again. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Black people are in mourning in America, man. If you, are, if you know anything about psychology, you will know it's something called survival mode. If you know anything about psychology and, and that study the mind, you understand something called survival mode. We are so destroyed by the hands of America that we are in perpetual survival mode. Yes, Meaning, we don't make sound decisions. We make decisions based off of what we can do just to survive. Yes, Meanwhile, white America lives deliciously. Meanwhile, white America lives comfortably. You know what I'm saying? Unhindered. Yes, we don't bother these people. What, does, what has any black man or black woman ever done to deserve to be killed by America, man? What have we really done as a, as a people to America to, to deserve this treatment? Yes, sir. Nothing, but guess what? They turn right back around, even while we're trying to survive on scraps, and they still crush us down to powder, man. Yes, sir. They killed a Tatiana Jefferson in her own damn home. Yes, sir. The sister was going to mad school, man. She was doing everything right according to America. And guess what? You betrayed a Tatiana Jefferson, America. You betrayed both them John, America. You betray us, man. We sacrificed our lives for America, man. We worked 16 hours for this speaking country, man. We break our backs for this speaking country, just like our forefathers did when you brought us over here. And you chose time and time again that we are not to love you that we are not respected. Our sacrifices are not respected. Our hard work is not respected, man. Yes, America is, uh, is an ungrateful and unappreciative nation, man. Absolutely. It's a wicked kingdom, guess what? Yes, God is going to destroy America yes, because, of his, uh, because of its hypocrisy, man. Right. Yes, sir. A white man can understand pain when it's done to them. You bring up 9-11, never forget. Never forget, that's a tragedy. Yes, sir. We bring up slavery, it's in the past. You yes. gotta let it go. You see how hypocritical they are? Yes, sir. They're not even logical as a people, yes, man. Yes. And guess what? We turn right back around and we look to these same people for justice. Yes, sir. We look to these same people to judge situations that, re that regards to us, man. Yes, sir. We gotta stop looking to these people for justice and we gotta turn to righteous men of the Lord for justice, man. Yes, sir. Black men, man. Yes, sir. Men in the ISUBK, man. Yes, sir. You know why? Because as long as we turn to these people, they are going to betray us time and time again. Yes, sir. They are going to spit in our face time and time again. Yes, sir. Christians love to say, John 3, 16, exactly. God loves everybody. Don't tell us that. That's right. Black, black people don't need to hear John 3, 16. You know who needs to hear? 
Tell the Dallas Police Department. Exactly. Tell, tell Donald Trump God loves everybody. Exactly. Tell America yes, God loves everybody. Yes, sir. You know why? Because they're the ones that need to hear. Yep. Black people, we've been loving America for 400 years. Yes, sir. We fighting all, we fought in all your wars. You know what I'm saying? We were valiant soldiers in your military. Our women nursed your children. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Our men built your houses and your, and your plantations. And guess what? We've been loving you guys, and we've and we been getting spit in the face, man. Spit in the face. You know why? Because America is not to be trusted. America is not to be loved, man. We got to love our own people. You know what I'm saying? Christianity has taught us to look at each other with hate in our hearts and look at the people that hate us with love, man. That's why our brother can come up here and get mad at us when we're telling the brother, we love you. Imagine how crazy that is. Imagine how psychologically damaged we are as a people. Yes, sir. We out here telling blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we love you. God loves you according to the Bible. Guess what? Our people hear that and they hate to hear it. They hate us for telling you that God says you're special. To hell with America, man. You have destroyed our people and you continue to destroy our people. And you have no sympathy or compassion or mercy for nobody else but to selfish selves, man. You hypocrites, man. Read it again from the top, man. Yes, sir. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Give me Psalm 283, man. We are mourning in America, man. Our mothers are mourning. Yes, sir. Our grandmothers are mourning, man. Yes, sir. Our fathers, our cousins, our brothers, we are mourning as a people. You know why? Because we live under a people that are animals. We look at white America like they're the epitome of being civilized. When these people are barbarians, man. These people are heathens, man. They are disgusting behind closed doors, man. It's all type of wickedness they do behind closed doors. And they put on these suits. They put on these thousand dollar suits and these nice shoes. And they shave real nice and clean. And they put their shades on. They come out here parade like they are the epitome of society. Hi, I'm Mr. White, man. Respect me. Be like me. Be like me. No, to hell with that, man. Right. Be like the brothers back here, man. Yes, Stand up for your people, man. Yes, sir. Stand up for God, man. Yes, sir. Stand up for, thank you, sis. Stand up for the nation of Israel, man. That's who we are, man. Exactly. Tell them where you at. Yes, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Look, man, let me tell you something. This is how hip hypocritical America is, man. They tell us to forgive for everything, man. Anytime something happens to us, then what's the first thing that come out of their mouth? Well, the Christian thing to do is to forgive. forgive. You gotta forgive. Yes, sir. Okay, how about this, America? Should Osama bin Laden should have been forgiven? Exactly. Why didn't you forgive Osama bin Laden, America? Exactly. Why didn't you forgive Saddam Hussein or, or Gaddafi, America? Yes, sir. Huh? You know why? Because you're a nation of hypocrites, man. Exactly. You're a nation of liars, man. Yes, sir. America's a nation of murderers and rapists and thieves, man. Yes, sir. America is a filthy nation that does not follow what God says. Exactly. You know why? Because if you tell why they treat us, man. Yes, sir. Look how they treat. Listen, a person that, that has any type of compassion will see somebody down. And if, listen, if you're really strong, think about this. As a strong person, if you see somebody that's already down, you, can, you already know you can beat them. So why would you further destroy them? Yes, you know why? Only a coward does that. Yes, sir. Only a coward waits till you're weak yes, and to, to continue to capitalize on your weakness, man. Yes, sir. Black man, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man, let's stop being weak in America, man. Yes, sir. Let's come back to the Bible and be strong, man. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Boy, this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell 
No call it can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword. With